and welcome back to Traffic Talk with Ashton Moran from the Acadiana Planning Commission. We're going to continue to delve into some of these myths about driving. You mentioned a good one since everybody around here, big UL fans, red cars. Do they or don't they get pulled over more? No, no, no. It's just it. it that's just a misnomer. We don't even really track that, to be honest. Um, so like it's not it's not a thing on the police officers radar what they're looking for is violations like nobody's gonna waste their time doing a full over for something that's not gonna be an actionable offense I mean mm -hmm. that's gonna get the officer in trouble he's got to wear the body camera you know all that kind of business so no <laughs> drive whatever kind of car you like I know the red cars are popular all those solid color the cars are popular nowadays Absolutely. so don't let that dissuade you from getting a red car now another one that I saw that was really interesting is you can actually get a ticket for driving too slow Yes, you're supposed to drive as much as possible to what the posted speed is, but not over it, you know, in ideal conditions. So mm -hmm. if you are driving too slow in an interstate, like it's almost like you're stopping in the road. It's extremely dangerous, like especially in these higher mile um, per hour speed uh, areas. So mm -hmm. yes, you need to drive cautiously, try to drive with the flow of traffic, try to drive predictably. Um, and try to drive as close to the posted speed as possible without going over it. I have seen sometimes on the interstates they'll have a maximum speed limit and a minimum speed limit too, where like, yeah. you know, drive 40 or 60, so you got that little wiggle room. That predictability. Yeah. That's the most important part, predictability. You don't want somebody coming going 60 miles an hour, you know, when the posted speed is like 75, and mm -hmm. then they're coming across somebody going 40 miles an hour. It's a very dangerous situation. And then the final one, kind of on the same thing with that, is there really is no discernible limit for um, going over over the speed limit and getting a ticket like it oh I was only going one mile an hour over the speed limit you know most are like oh I can get a, around 10 and they won't ticket me for that yeah and actually like I you know we talked about this a lot when Ron comes on the show is that you if under like rainy conditions and such like that you can actually be fined for going the speed limit if it's too dangerous to go that limit oh so, wow yeah so it's under only under ideal weather conditions is the speed limit the speed limit yeah um, if it is extremely rainy snowy and stuff like that and you're going 65 miles an hour and you're not doing it in a safe manner you can get a ticket for going at that limit wow well, these so it's are the officer's discretion and, and you know, yeah. take all these things into account. Well, very interesting. Hopefully we uh, allowed you to have your red car go on the roadway without any more fear there. Ashley, thank you so much no, for joining us. No. And we will see you back here next week. No, thank you. And after this, I'll be tracking.